everyone this is uma joshi from lg institute of engineering and technology we all know that there are certain skills that an engineer must have to be able to get a good job after graduation also we know that there's a huge competition out there that means that there will be many engineers who will be applying for jobs that you may also have applied for so on what basis the organization selects a candidate or what is that one thing which makes you different from the crowd that one thing is the soft skills yes every professional requires two skills hard skills and soft skills hard skills refers to the knowledge and application of the core area of your branch for example a civil engineer is required to know about constructions planning the knowledge of materials etc a mechanical engineer is expected to know about the workings of all machines a computer engineer is expected to know about the hardware and software of the computers so on and so forth that means that hard skills refers to what a person is supposed to do in a job and soft skills refers to how a person is going to carry out these activities the hard skills are taught to you through all your core subjects related to your branch while the soft skills will be taught to you in this subject effective technical communication though you all have been communicating since your childhood you must have faced many situations where you may have felt that you haven't communicated properly or the other person didn't get what you wanted to say that means that you couldn't get the desired result so the word effective here means getting a desired result now in your organizations all your daily activities will be dependent on communication that means that we will have to do effective communication and not only communication now the word technical here means that what methods and techniques we can use to do professional communication so effective technical communication means that we want to learn communication which is effective and for that we will be learning certain methods or techniques so effective technical communication is a subject which helps in making the students job ready so let us see what all we are going to study in this subject and how can we benefit by making it a major differentiator for our careers when it comes to soft skills it does not only include communication but it also includes many other things which makes a professional efficient and effective now this subject is divided into four skills number 1 communication skills number 2 ethics number 3 etiquette and number 4 self development and assessment the major part of this subject consists of the first skill which is the communication skill and communication skill includes verbal communication and non verbal communication now verbal communication means something where words are used so here we are going to learn oral and written communication now many professionals feel stuck when they have to speak in meeting or make presentations or make a public speech or even do one to one conversation with their superiors or their colleagues now they may be having great ideas but they do not have enough skills and practice to speak in front of the strangers for that in verbal communication topics like public speaking group discussion interview skills presentation strategies and negotiation skills are included also we are going to learn the basics of communication so that we understand how the process of communication happens which in turn will help us in sharpening our skills so these are the oral communication now coming to the written communication 
when it comes to communicating it is not only about speaking but it is also about writing and as professionals you will have to communicate in writing again when it comes to communicating effective in writing then we require many different factors so in this topic we are going to learn how to write technical proposals technical descriptions business letters agenda and minutes of meeting and resume along with this we will also learn the non verbal aspects of communication like body language voice features and the use of space in communication now the second topic is ethics with the increasing unethical practices in the corporate world the focus has now turned on giving an insight about ethics to engineers and all professionals so in this topic we are going to learn the need and scope of ethics accepting and sharing responsibilities resolving ethical dilemma and making moral choices the third skill that we are going to learn is etiquette this includes the behavioral aspect of an engineer or a professional here we are going to learn telephone etiquettes etiquettes for visits to foreign countries or becoming hosts of foreign visitors etiquettes for small talks respecting privacy in organizations time management and learning to say no now the last and final topic is the self development and assessment here we are going to learn how to polish ourselves by implementing some developmental aspects so what we are going to learn over here will be the importance of change persistence prioritization listening a self assessment and we also get motivated to dream big in our lives and grow in our careers and in our lives so all in all this subject is going to help sharpen your overall personality not only in terms of your communication but also in terms of the methods techniques behavior and also your thinking capability